Numbers chapter 1. One day in mid-spring during the second year after Israel's departure from Egypt, the Lord spoke to Moses in the tabernacle in the wilderness of Sinai. He said, Take a census of the whole community of Israel by their clans and families. List the names of all the men twenty years old or older who are able to go to war. You and Aaron are to direct the project assisted by one family leader from each tribe. These are the tribes and the names of the leaders chosen for the task. Reuben, Eliezer, son of Shedur, Simeon, Shelumiel, son of Zerushadai, Judah, Nashon, son of Aminadab, Issachar, Nathanael, son of Zuar, Zebulun, Eliab, son of Helon, Ephraim, son of Joseph, Elishama, son of Amahud, Manasseh, son of Joseph, Gamaliel, son of Perezur, Benjamin, Abidon, son of Gideon, Dan, Ahazar, son of Amishadai, Asher, Pajel, son of Okran, Gad, Eliasaph, son of Dewel, Naphtali, Ahira, son of Enon. These tribal leaders, heads of their own families, were chosen from among all the people. Now Moses and Aaron and the chosen leaders called together the whole community of Israel on that very day. All the people were registered according to their ancestry by their clans and families. The men of Israel, twenty years old or older, were registered one by one, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. So Moses counted the people there in the wilderness of Sinai. This is the number of men, twenty years old or older, who were able to go to war, each listed according to his own clan and family. Reuben, Jacob's oldest son, 46,500. Simeon, 59,300. Gad, 45,650. Judah, 74,600. Issachar, 54,400. Zebulun, 57,400. Ephraim, son of Joseph, 40,500. Manasseh, son of Joseph, 32,200. Benjamin, 35,400. Dan, 62,700, Asher, 41,500, Naphtali, 53,400. These were the men counted by Moses and Aaron and the twelve leaders of Israel, all listed according to their ancestral descent. They were counted by families, all the men of Israel who were twenty years old or older and able to go to war. The total number was 603,550. But this total did not include the Levites, for the Lord had said to Moses, Exempt the tribe of Levi from the census. Do not include them when you count the rest of the Israelites. You must put the Levites in charge of the tabernacle of the covenant, along with its furnishings and equipment. They must carry the tabernacle and its equipment as you travel, and they must care for it and camp around it. Whenever the tabernacle is moved, the Levites will take it down and set it up again. Anyone else who goes too near the tabernacle will be executed. Each tribe of Israel will have a designated camping area with its own family banner. But the Levites will camp around the tabernacle of the covenant to offer the people of Israel protection from the Lord's fierce anger. The Levites are responsible to stand guard around the tabernacle. So the Israelites did everything just as the Lord had commanded Moses.